Oh, hello there, Internet. This is a test, because I didn't test before, and my head was cut off here. So you get to listen to me again. So hey there, guys. Long time no see, right? Like, what, two weeks? In case you haven't heard already, Katie had to go to some place, and she couldn't film her video on Thursday, so she swapped places with me, because Monday was the only way she could do it. So it just turned out that she would have three days in a row, because she had a challenge Friday, and I am taking her spot today, so I have today, and then I have Challenge Friday tomorrow because it's my turn, and then I also go back to Monday. So you guys get to listen to me rant uh, three days in a row. Let's hope it doesn't get too depressing, because that's actually been known to happen, and I feel like that's what I'm known for. Oh, this is going to be interesting, Internet. This is going to be interesting. Let me start off by responding to the nationalism, nationalism, personal nationalism, national identity, there we go, national identity, I'm gonna just lean against this wall, I'm standing up today because Katie did it, and it looked like fun, I identify myself as American, which is cool, I, I'm, I am with you, Spencer, in that, yeah, that's cool, but, what, what of it? I don't feel a sense of super strong national pride. Like, if someone's talking down on Americans, I might be standing right with them. Because, golly people, we do some dumb things. But that is the kind of the stereotype we fall into. We fall into the big, hefty Americans that are all really, really fat, and who never exercise, and we're really arrogant, and we just kind of ruin things. I would agree with most of that. But obviously, I am not one of those people. Obviously. Look at this. Look. So much for that stereotype. Fourth of July stuff. I ran a sound system in a park, the city, all day. That's what I did. And if I hadn't been doing that, I probably would have been sitting here on the internet playing Call of Duty. But I do identify myself as American. And I did celebrate Fourth of July in my own way, in that I think America allows people to be people. That's what it was originally founded for. And I find it interesting, because should we not, as people, stand up for our beliefs and for our opinions? And should we not, as people, avoid fighting? Because fighting is pointless and dumb, and I don't understand it, and I refuse to partake in it, for the most part. Except for right now. Um, I'm about to get all serious and kind of screaming here, folks. So, in order to kind of make things better. I'm gonna put this on. This is my new hat that my friend Abby got me. It's a giraffe. It's gonna be some sort of hat, like my dinosaur hat is my courage hat. This hat needs to be some sort of hat later on, but for right now I'm just gonna wear it because it makes me feel better. But I would just like to bring up that people don't let me have opinions, and people don't let me feel the way that I need to feel. Because, oh hold on, I am an individual, and I think that's kind of why I'm here. Now, I think we all can agree here, folks, that we all have our opinions, and we all have our own emotions, and neither of those are bad things, right? Right? Well, people don't let me um, think that. They kind of stomp all over most of my opinions and my beliefs, and they don't take in any regard for how I might feel about the situation, and they just find it okay to do so. And I'm really tired of it. I'm really, really tired of it. I am tired of not being allowed to have an opinion on really kind of meaningless things and meaningful things. I just, people don't let me have opinions here and it pisses me off so much. How much so much? Because I need to express my opinions and I have them and I refuse to fight with people because fighting is stupid and why people go out of their way to fight me on them is a mystery that I will never understand. Maybe it's because they know I won't fight back and thus they consider it a solemn victory for them, but really they aren't doing anything but belittling me as a person, and it pisses me off so much, so much. I've spent the past two days just completely getting go. Oh, oh, oh people, oh people, you disgust me, and I hate it, hate all of it. And for the first time in a very long time, I wanted to just stop making videos. I didn't want to talk to people. I don't want to do that though. I love talking to people and there's people out there that I want to have nice conversations with, but I, for whatever reason, can't. It's just not happening and people keep bringing up things that I disagree with, and so I just don't talk, because that is rude. Being outwardly angsty and fighting people about stuff, it's just rude. But James has opinions. 
James has lots of opinions, and when people don't take James's opinions into consideration, he gets very sad and emotional, kind of like he is now, because I just store everything inside until it bubbles up and goes BOOM, and right now that BOOM is this video! Because I'm an individual, and I have my opinions, and as an individual, I also have my own emotions. And something that really gets me is when people tell me, no, you're not allowed to feel that, or no, you're not allowed to have an opinion on that, because da 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 da. Their opinions and they're my emotions, and I need to work on expressing my emotions and just living in my emotions so I can develop them. And let me explain that, but I am a gifted adult. I think faster than majority of you out there, and I have a counselor that I've been seeing because of this, because I think like 10 times faster than other people. My brain processes things at a higher level. And because of that, my emotions can't keep up. They can't cope with what my brain thinks, because I think one thing, but I feel another thing, and it just confuses me. And so what I do is I override my emotions with my mind. I suppress them. And I've been doing that for years, and it has seriously screwed me up. And I'm supposed to be working against that. And I'm supposed to be able to be angry, and I'm supposed to be able to be sad and happy and excited, and people aren't letting me. And I take what other people say very seriously. Because I'm affected by other people more than most. Because of my inability to cope with emotions and my ability to think beyond what other people think. And so here I am, wonderful YouTube, just being angsty and very angry and upset because I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm still sick and I'm still thinking. On the wonderful interwebs, I consider myself to be a minority in that I'm white, middle class, and probably the biggest one of all that people don't really seem to get or care about is that I'm Christian. I believe in God and whenever people do things against my beliefs it just makes me sad and kind of upset because they don't really care if they go around swearing and that really bothers me because those are very very powerful words that they're using in vain I guess would be the best way to put it. They're just common for them and for me they're hurtful because you don't know how people are going to translate what you say and therefore it is very important to consider what you say and how you say it because you should always be thinking of others before yourself. It just bothers me when people go around talking about Jesus like he never existed, like there is no God and they think it's okay to just joke about heaven and hell, demons and being horrible people and the things they do being justified because of it all. And that hurts me. That really hurts me because I am public about being Christian. Go to my personal YouTube channel and read my description. It is there front and center and people don't care. And so I'm a minority here. People don't care that I believe. They just don't care about me. Well, at least what I believe and everything. They might care about me in existence and stuff, but I don't think they really understand how to deal with me. I don't even understand how to deal with me. I'm still trying to figure all of this out, but I'm just, I'm tired of not being heard, and I am tired of being belittled as a person and being told that what I have to say, my opinions, my beliefs, my arguments don't matter. That's why I'm pissed. Very angry. Yeah. And it all goes back to so many things because, as you all may recall, several weeks ago or maybe like a month or so, I did an eight minute video about relationships. And I continued to think about that and process it and I've come up with so many more developments and I just, I can't talk to anybody about them because no one wants to hear it anymore. And I'm just tired. I don't want to hurt people, but People don't really seem to care or notice that they are hurting me. And so maybe I don't belong here on YouTube. That's what I've been thinking recently. I've been thinking that I should just stop. Drop off of the map and none of you would be able to get a hold of me. If I deleted my YouTube, my Facebook, my Skype, you guys couldn't do it. And it's so tempting, oh so tempting, because I'm just tired of it right now. I'm just tired of not being heard and having no one to really talk to about it. There are a few people, but they, they have their own problems and I don't, I don't want to be a burden on them. So here I am, YouTube. This is day one of three on Across the 49th with James. So now that that's all over with, let me know what you guys think this hat should be and give me challenge suggestions for tomorrow. I will do my best to respond to comments 
on this video before I put my next one up tomorrow. I know I'm really bad about responding to comments, and that just has to do with me not knowing what to say, so I just put it off, and then it never happens. But I do read them all, and I am interested in what everybody has to say. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.